Good morning, folks. If you caught last night's special video in the solar storm forecast, the experts are now starting to come around. We'll go over space weather and some fantastic studies on solar differential rotation and how the sun triggers massive earthquakes. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. It was much quieter. Minor M-class flares were our peak for the last day, following the X-class outbreak in the two days before. Plasma filaments remain stable, well, sort of. None erupted, but the big one beginning to depart did have a major shakeup of plasma through the prominence rope. You'll see that again here, like someone tripping over their own footing, but then regaining balance before they fall to the ground. Let's revisit the X-class event here, the last one, long duration, CME produced from the surrounding plasma. Yesterday morning and last night, we reported and confirmed our position that this is an Earth-directed eruption. As we described last night, nobody else thought so, with NASA models and Dr. Phillips suggesting it was actually a far side eruption at the exact same time as the flare. But over the following hours, NASA recalibrated their model showing a more Earth-directed eruption. I still don't think this captures the breadth of the event, but it is better. The NOAA forecasters still haven't updated their endless spiral, but last night, they began to suggest a CME was in fact on its way to Earth and is expected on June 4th. Then, Dr. Phillips finally changed his call, suggesting that indeed a CME was produced and is on its way to Earth. So again, depending on its plasma speed, I expect impact either on June 4th or 5th. It will be a minor impact, but level 1 geomagnetic storms may occur. Won't be anything scary. We are continuing to watch the sunspots, however. Even in decay, they keep producing solar flares, and we also have new spots we're watching now as well. Key group is in development north of the old active region, and it is spreading quickly. We're going to go next to solar differential rotation. One of the reasons sunspots morph around so much is because they are being twisted at different rates. The low latitude regions of the sun make a rotation far more quickly than the high latitude regions, and now scientists are rethinking why that occurs. They're saying that spiral waves in the interior of the sun cause a speed shift between latitudes at the surface layer, forcing the differential rotation that we see from the outside. This goes along with that recent story about the sun's magnetic field possibly being created near the surface. Lastly here, folks, the third paper in a month on solar forcing of great earthquakes. This time, it's not about individual events, but overall disruption state of the Earth under long-term solar cycles, suggesting that the trough of multi-decadal to centennial cycles of activity are when the greatest earthquakes occur. Another reason to fear grand solar minimum there, eh? We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.